Russell Fox, madman, crazy man, he's walking on glass for 38 hours. This guy's crazy, man. There's something wrong with him. Always said there's something wrong with him. In any case, the reason why he's walking on, on glass is because he's trying to raise money for a fund, a really good fund for autism. You might think this is not real glass. Okay? Taking one of these, this is real, real glass. It's broken bottles. And, and they do cut. When you walk on them, they actually do cut. But it's no, I don't know why he's doing this. Well, I mean, I know why he's doing this to raise funds, but it's glass. I mean, he could have, like, taken money out of his wallet and I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, he's walking on this real glass. I'll take just a random piece. This is glass. This is bottle. I need to ask Russell, why? Why on earth would he do this? But it's better that it comes from him than it comes from me. Because I can't splurb it. You're doing it. So tell, YouTube's inside there. YouTube, since I was at YouTube, you're inside there. <laughs> why this? Why? You know what? To challenge myself. Um, challenge, you know, the human perception is something that is a lot more powerful than people understand. It's kind of like, we allow it to determine what we can and what we can't do. And nine out of ten times, it's, it's decisions based on fear. So when you look at a circumstance in life that you find overwhelming or uh, might be your living conditions, might be where you're staying, might be something you're trying to overcome. Where you're going to go, whether you're going to overcome that, get through it, move away from it, is determined by your perception of it. And if you perceive that, that's all you got, that's yeah. all you're ever going to have. Yeah. So, this is personal as well, it's for myself, it's to challenge myself in terms of my mind and my ability. But, uh, but one thing he's not saying, he's an illusionist, and well, a really good one. <laughs> well, so, yeah, I'm multi, I'm multi, I'm multi I mean, there's, there's various genres of illusion. I'm a yeah, mentalist, yeah. magician, perceptionist, yeah. illusionist, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, loads of things. But there's one thing he doesn't do, he never cheats. Because you can't cheat with this stuff. <laughs> so, the you, most you important... You could try. <laughs> I could try, I wouldn't get it right. One thing though, is that... The thing that you mentioned is that... I mean, il illusionists can do anything. They can cheat it as much as they can. But the important thing he said was that he's a mentalist. And... This takes a lot of mental stamina to do uh, something uh, like this. Without a doubt, eh? Without a doubt. Because you're not only walking on glass, it's the amount of hours. Yeah. So just tell us about that. 27, 29 hours, 32 kilometers. Walking on glass. Bit of glass, 20 meters in length. She was. Yeah. Okay. All so, right. the biggest thing for me is overcoming the fear. You know, the fear of cutting myself, the fear of are oh, my ankles going to give in? Am I going to endure the pain? Yeah. But I've decided, cheers Stephen, I've decided that I'm, I'm going to. And for that decision, I've committed myself and I've committed myself mentally. So I've sat and I've looked at everything and I've gone, what do I feel I'm going to embark on when I take on this journey? Yeah. Um, and do I have the ability to overcome everything that I am going to face when yeah. I do it? Yeah. My decision was yes and therefore I knew I could. Even though I was riddled with fear, my decision, basic decision was like this, I can beat this so I'm going to do this and I'm going to share it with the public because I could, I could do this at my house and nobody could see it and I'm still doing it for myself but if I'm sharing it, I'm sharing a gift that I'm learning as well. Yeah. So, the, so, so the other really important thing is that this is to raise money for? Nosh for Josh. Uh, it's an organization. I'm the brand ambassador for them. We work with families who have kids and adults with mental health issues, autism primarily, but fetal, al fe fetal alcohol syndrome, um, cerebral palsy, and, and various other neurological issues. Okay. We help these families fund their children to go to India to an, uh, a facility called Neurogen to have what they call stem cell transplant. They actually harvest the uh, fluid from the bone marrow in the hip, clean it, 
and then they put it back in the spinal spinal cord yeah and then the body takes this in and literally sorts all malfunctions out mm. and these kids come out pretty much normal um yes. whatever normal is whatever normal yeah because uh, this is not normal no this is not normal <laughs> <laughs> you've started this how many hours ago uh now it is i'm doing uh, 29 hours i've done how many hours 22 22 hours ago 22 this. hours so it's yeah. a massive journey yeah don't try this at home <laughs> you gotta be a mentalist you gotta, no, you gotta be a guy with a list of mental issues <laughs> <laughs> that's what you gotta be <laughs> well I wish you luck. Thanks, bro. Um, I'm not done filming. I'll show you guys more of this. Especially, oh, one thing, one thing. Yep. Russell, you got to show me. The bottom of my feet. You're going to see the bottom of his feet. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, look at that. that. That's pretty feet. Ain't it? Oh, that's so sexy. And then this one is where yeah. I've got a couple of legs. Had a couple ah, of okay. Okay. So, so. And this is painful. This is not me walking on glass, going. Yeah. Woo, this is sore, man. And he hasn't stopped. Even with those nicks and cuts, he hasn't stopped. How many? How many more do you got to go? Uh, uh eight hours. Seven, eight, seven, 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 seven hours. hours to go. Seven hours to go. Thank but you for I coming. I feel your pain. <laughs> no, you don't. Come uh, stand no, on the glass. No, 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 no. I'm fine. <laughs>